Hey everybody, this is the uh, a little demo of the Inventor 2009 ribbon interface. So notice that everything's laid out just like Office. Everything's kind of flat. Everything is, is right there in front of all the different icons uh, with the text next to it, which I, I love. I go in circle and tangent, and it gives me a little tip on, on how, to, how to use the tool as well. And I can just tab over to all the common things that I'm using every day, whether it's Manage or Clipboard or, or whatever inside of Inventor. If I go up to the Home button up in the top left-hand corner, I can do File, Open, Save. And one of the cool things, too, is that all of the options are, 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 are contained right there in the same place in, in every application, whether it's Inventor, Space Claim, Snagit, whatever. So let's make a little change to this part. I'm going to create a sketch. So just go to the Sketch tab, 2D Sketch, just the same old stuff in Inventor. And I'm going to create a little circle. And check out that green intuitive check. So it gets me out of the uh, sketch mode. It goes into Extrude. I'm going to create a cut, make this little hole, and then right-click and I'm out. Okay. But some of the, the graphical manipulation inside the interface, look at this little cube here. I can move to the top. I can look from the side. And this is inside, the whether it's ribbons or not, they had this in 2009. But, but I, I love the, the usage of the, the actual interface window itself where I can, can get to different common tasks. And they have this little wheel too. And again, this is not in the ribbons only, but but I think it, it's it's just kind of uh, falls right in line with this new interface and this kind of streamlined way of of, of working with the CAD systems. And, and everybody seems to be adopting the ribbon interface. Um, a couple things that Inventor has that's a little cooler than than some of the others is they have this little rewind. So I can actually go through and pick the different orientations that I had inside the model. But give it a try. Check it out at AutodeskLabs.com. Thanks.